Hey everybody, welcome back to Drossium Draws. So in this video we're going over um, an original Pokemon design and more of these will come later but um, I want to go over uh, an original Pokemon design that I created um, and I just wanted to share more of the kind of like giving Pokemon mega forms that I think that they deserve will come later but I just want to break it up a little bit and um, throw in some of my own original designs in here. So what I wanted to do was take one of the most boring, or at least you could say common, uh, like farm animals or creatures that you could think of, uh, the chicken, and turn it into a really cute, adorable kind of like Pokemon design. This will have um, two extra like evolutions, or I guess you could say split evolutions for this Pokemon, but um, they'll come in their own separate videos. Rather than making one huge video, which probably would be about like over half an hour, um, I'd rather make smaller content videos for just each of the forms so you can watch them in succession or one at a time or whatever you want to do um, just so it's a little bit easier to digest and you know keep your attention stuff like that um, so let's just get into it so this first sketch here um, for Hatchick our uh, Hatchick Pokemon um, this sketch wasn't really that great you know it's just as always with your first initial sketches they're never going to be great they're never going to be the best and you're never really gonna, just going to go with that one um, and I just went on the idea coming into it with an idea of okay I want to make a baby chick Pokemon that's poking out of its egg so um, I came up with this one it's almost too cartoonish it doesn't very much look like a Pokemon it's got its wings poking out here its shell I did take the pattern for the actual like patterns on the shell from the traditional Pokemon egg and that looks really cool uh, but I was like, okay, let's quickly move on to the next sketch because I don't want to spend too much time in this one. So this is what I came from here, and it's actually quite a big of a jump, actually. It's a lot fatter, a lot rounder, not just as traditionally egg-shaped, which is nice. It's got, like, these bits of shell here for the wings. It's still got, like, a fatter shell. It's almost got, like, this, uh, it got rounder forms as well. Stretching and kind of, like, squashing and making things round also, um, leads to cuteness so the rounder and squishy your forms are or at least the the rounder more circle shapes you add the better um, and it looks cuter um, so I changed some of that stuff out there it's got like this little shell helmet but I thought well let's move on let's do something else so again another drastic change or at least a change would be to this one I got like a feather poking at the top of the shell here I've got some like patterns on the wings which adds a little bit more complexity I was like okay I really like that what else can we do um, I moved on here. I took the patterns where I thought, well, let's take it, dial it back. You know, I've got patterns on the shelves. Let's add something else to it. Um, so I have like this like crown of feathers poking out the top here. I thought, oh, that's really cool. I took inspiration from this from ones like Torchic and Rufflet and stuff like and Starly as well, like that, looking at very traditionally cute bird Pokemon and trying to translate it put into my design. I was like, okay, I really like that. I like the design of the shell. What else can we do? Um, so, but I thought it was still a bit too tall. I thought it needs to be fatter. It needs to be squishier. It needs to be more round. So I um, took that design, copied it, and squashed it again. And I came up with this one. And as you can see, there's a quite a dramatic height difference here, which also affects how you see the Pokemon and the, the design, um, which I really like. It's got um, a fatter beak here, which works really well. It's got these cute little eyes here. Um, I thought, well, what else? What else can I do to like push this? push this design um i even made a turnaround here as well i thought oh this could be like a mohawk of feathers coming down here but i was like eh, maybe not i even changed up the beak here taking inspiration from rufflet and that kind of like beak design but i thought eh, it just doesn't look right so i'll do something else um i do like the um back view here which could be Kind of like a cool thing if it, it was either a sprite or a 3d model um you can see the actual pattern from on the front of the wings are there but put it on the back so it's a different view so it's actually really nice to see on the back um which will be nice um and even like this bit of the shell here is different from the front as it looks kind of like a tail so i was like okay that's really nice what else can i work with this theme of babies baby chicks um stuff like that and like newborns and i thought oh well all the times in the illustrations you see of babies, you see like this little curl or tuft of hair. So I thought, oh, that'd be really nice to incorporate into the, the design and haul back to kind of the um, original inspiration for this. I also even add like little, little, little bird feetsies here, which look really cute, like poking out from the shell, just poking out, which looks really nice um, in this sketch anyway. And I've uh, got a little tuft of 
kind of like thing coming up here, but it's obviously part of the shell. So it would also work well in merchandising um, if it ever got that stage. Not that it will, but, you know, it's just fun to think about it as a designer. You want to think, well, if this gets where I want it to be, what elements can I add in there that will make it nice? So it would work well as a pin and kind of like a keychain, I thought, which would be nice. But it was it turned out to be kind of eh, but it was a nice thing to add in. It wasn't it wasn't working when I start to, to get into inking and colour as we'll see here. Um as you can see here the these colours are far too saturated. Um traditional like bird yellow, I have like this sky blue, which is kind of nice, and then you've got the pink here and the colour of the shell and I've got that little curl here which I actually put at the bottom instead of the top, which I thought, Oh that looks really nice and I was like, okay, that's nice. Let's try inking this and try some different colours because by this point I was pretty happy with where it was. I just wanted to kind of like iterate on the colours and on and, and on the inking as well. So one of the first ones I did uh, was actually um this one here. Um and as you can see I changed up the colours as well. No longer this kind of like sky blue, but more of like a purpley blue with a change to the shell and the um a little bit more orange in the in, in the yellow for the bird itself. Um, I even added like this pattern back here, as you can see, and this like pinky purple for the feet. I was like, okay, I'm not really liking how that looked. Let's move on. I even made a shiny of it actually, which looks really nice. Um, I also made um, this one, but I ended up actually going back to that weird egg shape that it were stepping away from the roundness and going back into the whoops, um, the like eggy kind of like traditional egg look and even even like changed the colors again adding way more orange this time and um, adding like more of a green to the um, kind of like patterns on the egg and that and um, washing out some of the pink on here on the feet I thought mm, it's it's too dark it's not good it doesn't look cute enough um, but I finally came to this one where I was like okay I've got the curl back I've got the kind of bluish color back but I, I need more of a cute soft pastel art style that um, or color palette that uh, would, would fit with it and I thought oh that looks really nice but what else can we do I was also thinking again the the patterns on the wings here are too complicated because in baby Pokemon designs you don't want too many elements that are going to kind of like ruin or detract or move your eye away from what you're looking at so I thought I'll just get rid of that make it a little bit simpler and I finally finally came to this design I also got rid of the curl there I thought it was a good idea but I thought I'd just get rid of it um, here, not only am I really happy with this looks, the colors all look really nice. I changed up the pattern, so no longer the like spotty patterns, but they're more like just one big shape, which also really um, harks back to this feather shape here. Um, so just these rounded forms again, adding more round shapes, uh, which look really nice. Changing up the colors to more of a pastel color palette, um, adding a little bit back of that pink back in here. So you've got just just over three colours in there that um, grab your attention. The two big, you know, the three big colours of the blue, the shell, and then obviously the main body look really nice. Even made a female version, which works with the law for this um, Pokemon. Hatchik male and Hatchik female, which evolve both into a different form. So it's actually worthwhile getting both forms, which is nice. Um, and it also made shiny forms which look really, really nice. I really like both of these shiny forms, and I, I'd want both of them anyway. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I also tried one more extra thing just to see what it would look like. I changed up the eye shape from um, this one here to here, but I still wasn't feeling with it. And by this point, I'd sunk in quite a lot of hours in actually just designing this, and I didn't really want to do any more, and I felt like I'd actually reached the point of, well, if I mess with it anymore, it's just gonna I'm just gonna over design it and I'm over gonna kind of like I'm gonna ruin it basically but uh, yeah this is the final form of my new um, original Pokemon Hatchik so uh, let me know what you think um, I'll go over like the Pokedex entry in a minute but um, what, what do you think like what, what would you change what could I have done better do you like it uh, should the shinies be different you know uh, which one would you want, the male or the female one? It's not such a drastic change, but um, I like it all the same. You know, it's it's subtle without having to be like too dramatic, like the Nidorans, like the Nidoran male and the Nidoran female. It it's just a small change to let you know that this is the male version, this is the female version, without actually explicitly having to kind of like tell you, I guess. 
um, you can just use your own observation. So Hatchick, the um, small chick Pokemon, um, they are very cute and adorable, and they love to make friends with pretty much just about everyone. Uh, they love to tuck their wings and their heads into their shells, and they love to roll down grassy hills to uh, just for fun. Um, however, if you kind of like mess with them a bit too much, or if you kind of like get a bit too handsy or annoy them, um, or a bit too rough with them, they will actually give you a nasty, uh, a nasty peck, and they are fiercely protected by their mothers, which is the female um, evolution actually full form, which is nice. Um, um, newborn Hatchick um, are sometimes mis mistake their trainers for their mothers, so that would be kind of like a nice thing to add in there. Uh, so let me know, what do you think of um, Hatchick? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What else could I have done, you know? Uh, but that's what I've got to show you right now. The next two kind of like videos will be about its evolutions, uh, the male form and the female form. So look forward to that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And uh, follow me on my socials and that will be in the description. Um, if you want to see more videos uh, like this, don't forget to, like I said, check out the um, video where I gave Megas to Pokemon, which I think that deserve it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey there, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my work around. I'll see you next time.